travel option could be coming to Palm Beach County. There's a new proposal for a light rail system that would connect downtown West Palm Beach to Wellington. WPTV News Channel 5's camera up into reports it's being proposed to help ease traffic troubles. Well, this is a plan that's been in the works for the past two years, and now that it's been proposed, the Florida Department of Transportation will be taking a closer look to ultimately decide if it should move forward. Here along Okeechobee Boulevard and State Road 7, traffic troubles are on the rise. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting worse, man. The more people move in, it's getting, you know, busier and busier. It's one of Palm Beach County's busiest corridors that sees upwards of 70,000 cars a day. But it could be in for a major upgrade. The Palm Beach Transportation Planning Agency is proposing to bring the first light rail system to Palm Beach County. This is something that we think will alleviate headaches for people uh, as we start to improve transit now for our existing users, but also into the future as we launch new services. The 13 and a half mile stretch would include a route of 17 stops and run along the center median of Okeechobee Boulevard and State Road 7. With a ride time of 39 minutes, officials say it's all aimed at easing congestion and adding a safe travel option for commuters. We've studied the quarter for a number of years and we found that there were dozens of fatalities or serious injury related crashes. According to TPA, from 2019 to 2021, the busy corridor saw more than 4,700 crashes. 16 of them were fatal. Some residents agree the project is a step in the right direction. It would help if people use it, and it was economical and, and convenient. It, you know, it comes down to convenience. But not everyone is on board. I mean, the first thing that comes to my head is transient people and all that stuff, and, you know, it's, it's a tight-knit community, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that the people that are driving right now are actually going to use that. I just feel like it's going to bring a lot of riffraff into the neighborhoods. And even now, the crime seems to have gone up. Now, when it comes to the cost for the project, it's about $850 million. And in addition to getting the green light from FDOT, it still has a few more hurdles. Officials say it could take anywhere from 10 to 20 years to complete. Reporting in Palm Beach County, I'm Kemmerell Eppinger.